Hello to everyone watching. This is the last time I address this and talk about this. First of all, I'd like to thank every person that contributed to the Tender and Goes A Long Way initiative. If it wasn't for your contributions, we would have not raised 2 million rand. Second of all, myself and my team members, we are not crowdfunders. We've never done crowdfunding before. It's our first time. And due to it being our first time, we said we don't want to make any mistakes. And now, yeah, but Sati Mal, but Joncha, but Sati, you know what? Let's partner up with an organization called Fundi because they have access to universities. They have access to see which students have registered because it's not a chance. And we didn't want that to happen. Would he, hey, did this, did that. Understand? We transferred all the money to Fundi's account. And even some companies were still waiting for tax clearances, and those companies were told that transfer that money to Fundi's account. Fundi will administer everything. It brings me to this point. Actually, why am I am a students lower benefit initiative but twili? Why in twili? Why in twili? You guys are seeing this fire, people are fighting there. You guys are quiet. Can all the students that benefited from this initiative stand up and say that my registration fee got paid? Why any tool? It gets to this point where I'm about to say, I'm a South Africans, I'm not dying. Yes, to a certain point, I understand why it's not thank you because you know we live in a country with corruption. And the five hundred billion but we're all not like that. If we continue like this, I'm not going to do ten that goes a long way next year. Footy, I'm not going to do it. It's too stressful. Hello loves and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I go by the name of Yolok Azikagi, but you guys can most definitely call me Yolona. This is a video update on Lissi's Wear Dambuza and the 2 million rands saga. Now, we all know that earlier this year, Lissi's Wear did an initiative whereby he asked his followers to please donate towards the 10 rands goes a long way initiative now he managed to raise 2 million rands but then later on came forward to say that he will actually be transferring all of the money to fundi now i need for you guys to understand that fundi is actually a student loan whereby they will loan students to either pay for their tuition fees residence or um to actually actually cover their registration but now the agreement would be that they have to pay back that money and also they have to actually come forward with either a three months bank statement from their legal guardian to say how they will actually pay back that loan now this is where the issue came in as the people who made donations to the initiative started asking for proof from la Cizue, they basically stated that not even one student came forward either on social media or any of these platform to actually thank the 10 rands goes a long way initiative for either covering for their tuition fee or registration fee or residence fee so they were low key stating that la Cizue has stolen the money and used it for his own personal use now this is where the video of actually responding and telling everyone what happened to the two million rands he also went back to say that they even did a live insta whereby he was sharing with us how the 2 million rands was basically deposited now you guys i have to say this in my opinion i don't think that it was clear between fundi and la Cizue that this was in fact indeed a donation that the students do not have to pay a cent a single cent back because i have seen on the timeline that really none of the students have actually come forward to say they actually benefited from the 10 rands goes a long way initiative furthermore you guys 
most people or some people were just coming out to say that when I was trying to apply, I was then asked to please um, provide them with the three months bank statement from either my, my parents and actually come forward to say, how will I pay back that money? So I think there was a lack of communication between La Cizue and um, the Fundi loan. Anyways, you guys, please do engage with me down on the comment section. Tell me how do you feel about this entire situation. I really do feel bad um, for La Cizu because he was really trying to do good for um, students who really could not afford their tuition fees. Also, you guys, as he has stated on the video that he will never do this kind of initiative because now people are painting him out to be the bad guy. And whereas it might be Fundi that, you know, is not being transparent with what they did with the two million rands. Now, my hopes are really that you guys, they did not actually loan that money to students. Now, thank you guys so much for tuning in onto this video. Please do engage with me down on the comment section. Also like this video, subscribe if you have not yet done so. And I will definitely see you guys on my next upload. Bye.